Hello, this is Kim Ware. I'm hosting a live event called a Crash Course in Public Speaking. Prepare to be amazed. This is the last Saturday of March and I'm so pleased to be with you. I think that when people come to a Crash Course in Public Speaking, they're wanting to know just how do I do this? <laughs> how do I do it and not feel totally nervous? How do I do it and not stumble over my words? How do I seem confident and how do I seem worthwhile even when I feel like running to a closet and hiding for a little bit? I like to use the analogy of sometimes I just want to come home and crawl under my covers and just just be for a little bit and not have to deal with the outside world. So that is what I hope to accomplish with you this morning is just telling you how to get in front of an audience and be able to speak and feel good about it even if on the inside you feel a little bit frazzled. So first things first, as you may have already watched in another video, if you are being asked to speak somewhere, it's probably because you have something to say. Generally, someone's not going to come and ask you to speak on a topic that you know nothing about. Sure, you may take a class where you have to present information because you're in the process of learning, but outside of a classroom situation, it's highly unlikely that you're going to be asked to give a presentation or a talk on something that is completely new to you that you don't know anything about at all. So you can rest in the fact that you do have a knowledge base, you do have something to say when you have to give a presentation. The second thing to think about is the organization and the preparation of your talk. If you are prepared and you know your main talking points, then you will be able to just speak on them. You're going to use a tool called the tell them adage coupled with signposting. So are you ready? Here is the first important thing to know in your crash course on public speaking. And that is you're going to tell them what you're going to tell them, you're going to tell them, and then you're gonna tell them what you told them. So let's go over that again. Your intro is to tell them what you're going to tell them. Your body is to tell them. And your conclusion is to tell them what you told them. People zone in and out all the time when you're speaking. So these remembering devices help you not only keep track of where you are in your talk, but also help your audience keep track of what they're being told. And that repetition helps them remember what you're telling them. Then when you use words like first, second, third, or first, next, then finally, or to begin, in the middle, concluding, those are words that signpost, and there are more clues to help your audience know where you are in your presentation and help you know where you are in your presentation. So at the outset of planning anything, if you can decide what your three main points are and use that adage of tell them what your main points are going to be, tell them your main points and expand on them, and then third, remind them what you told them, your presentation is suddenly going to sh shrink from this major, huge event into something that is smaller and more manageable. I hope that helps. If it doesn't, please reach out and ask me any questions that you have. The second thing that people tend to deal with is their bodies. Our bodies get stressed. And so they produce hormones and adrenaline to help calm us down. Those things often result in a fast beating heart or butterflies in your stomach. And there are things that you can do to help yourself alleviate those. The first thing you can do is breathe. Breath is so important in physically calming our bodies down. Any of my physical fitness people out there that are doing their studies at Bryant to become personal trainers or own their own gyms or go work in a box gym, you know this. Breath is so important. So if you can just breathe in and breathe out slowly, do that a few times, breathe in and out you can automatically start to calm yourself down. When you're in the middle of a presentation, 
using your space is also very helpful in calming your body down. So you might start speaking in one place. Now we don't want to pace, but if you walk to the right, stay there for a little bit, talk, then come back to the center, stay there, talk, walk to the right, stay there, talk, use some gestures. You can help your body expend that extra energy that is building up inside of you when you feel nervous. So don't be afraid to move when you're speaking. If you find yourself pacing, take a moment and just stand and talk to your audience. Remember, you do have something to say to them and they are listening to you because they know that you already have credibility. My third and final thing I want to go over with you is those quiet spaces to warm up your mouth so you don't trip over your words. So this is gonna sound kind of crazy, but I will tell you that it works. You can actually warm up your face and warm up your tongue to help you speak so that you don't get all tongue-tied. Your mouth and your face is a muscle. It's comprised of lots of muscles. So you can do some crazy things on your own, like in your car before you get there and you have to go meet people. Or I'm telling you, the bathroom is your best friend. It's the one place you can go and be kind of alone in a public space. Um, you can just sit there and you can blow air out of your lips. <laughs> are you laughing at me right now? I bet you are. You can blow sound out of your lips. You can do the same with your tongue. And you can go through those different ranges of warming up your vocal cords. You can also warm up your face through massage. Oh, that feels so good. You can warm up your neck, massage it just a little bit. You can even do some neck rolls. You can roll your shoulders a little bit. Again, this is helpful too in just expending that extra energy that you're building up in preparation to be able to speak. One final thing you can do is to chew your ABCs or to say some tongue twisters. So when I say chew your ABCs, I mean saying things like A, B, C, D. You're totally laughing at me right now, aren't you? You are, I know you are, that's okay. Laugh at me. I'm here to help you and I want you to do the very best. So what have we covered today? In our crash course on public speaking, we've gone over the tell them adage and signposting, which is what I'm doing the third part of right now. I'm telling you what I told you. We've gone over how to expend energy when you're speaking and before you speak and how to warm up your face so that you don't get tongue tied. So there you go, there's your crash course. I have so much more to offer to you in the overall length of our time together in Comp 210, and I just look forward to working with you. After you watch this video, go on over to Yellow Dig because I didn't actually have anybody come to the live event, and that's okay, but go on over to Yellow Dig, post what you learned, and then I just might give you a badge. Thanks, bye.